You seem confused, Seeker. The champion killed the Arashok in single combat? It just sounds so... romantic. If I didn't know better, I'd say you developed a case of hero worship. <laughs> Why? Because I have respect for a woman who built herself from nothing? Mm-hmm. If you're telling the truth. If you are, then... What happened at the gallows may be far different than we assumed. I need to hear it. Let's say I tell you. Then what? Is the Chantry out for revenge? Is that what this is all about? No, it's not that. Then what about me? If what I tell you isn't what you want to hear, will you still let me go? I will let you go. Well, now we're talking. None of this is what I thought it would be. Tell me what really happened. Champion of Kirkwall. That was the reward. <laughs> A fine title. Every noble at the Keep owed the Champion their lives. She wasn't just a hero. She was now the most important person in the city. Except for Knight Commander Meredith, of course. With the Viscount dead, she stepped in to keep order. Things quickly got out of hand. The more she squeezed the mages, the more they resisted. The more they resisted, the tighter she squeezed. After three years of that, it all came crashing down. I know you fear us. Knight Commander Meredith uses that fear to take control of your city. She opposes every effort to replace Viscount Dumar. And you have seen the chaos of her reign. Will you allow it? Return to your homes. This farce is over. Wait! Perhaps there are some who might disagree with you, Knight Commander. The Champion has proven herself Kirkwall's greatest defender. I doubt that she favors sedition. Is there any way I can help? It would be better if you both calm down, before this gets violent. Seriously. I should remain calm. While a mage provokes an uprising, I think not. I think the champion's views would be appreciated. Or do you fear what she has to say? Not at all. Do you agree with the first enchanter's accusations, champion? Do the Templars go too far? Your measures have become more extreme over the last three years. And you could do better? How well did you guard your own mother? Don't! Did she not die at a blood mage's hands? Don't... go there. Leave my mother out of this. Cold corpses speak louder than abstract freedoms, do they not? As long as that's true, Kirkwall needs its Templars more than it needs a new ruler. And when will that end? When will you stop seeing evil in every corner? When it's no longer there. Mm. Why do this now, Orsino? What are you trying to do here? Cause a rebellion? The people of this city need to know what is really happening. And then what? They tear down the gallows with pitchforks and torches? That would be better? It cannot be worse. Your refusal to listen to reason leaves me no choice. What I refuse to listen to are excuses. Perhaps you are ill-fit to your position if you cannot understand this. Oh, did I suddenly lose my dialogue options? Um, you don't have to agree with them, but you should pick a side for quest reasons. And I'm siding with Orsino. You're hardly receptive to whatever gets in your way. And I become less receptive each moment this nonsense continues. Okay, so I still have ones. Um, answer his charges. The first enchanter accused you of trying to take control of the city. The city? 
I am trying to keep order until there is a ruler capable of succeeding where Duma failed. And if not, will the Templars rule Kirkwall forever? We will not stand idle while the city burns around us. The Templar Order exists to guard the Chantry and Circle. I suggest you let the nobility rule the city. I do not need you or anyone to tell me what my duty is, mage. Except apparently you do, because he's right. You need to step down. The First Enchanter is right. You should not be ruling Kirkwall. And yet I shall continue, until such a time as the city is safe. Do you see? She is incapable of reason! I'm a little uncertain, because I believe the nobles are supposed to vote, right? So, why has that not happened? Or is everybody just totally cool with Meredith ruling? Um, let's see where this goes. Rogue mages are constantly threatening the city. Exactly. Would you have us do nothing in response? That's not what I'm suggesting. I would have you not paint us all with the same brush. Not all mages are waiting for the opportunity to wreak havoc. You know as well as I that temptation preys on every mage, no matter how noble their intentions. You pushed us into desperate acts, and then used that as justification to press even further. That's a point. It's getting us nowhere. How are you helping? I'm curious. Fighting her at every step has not improved things, First Enchanter. I am through trying to help her. She will not be helped. Hmm. Like I said, you gotta pick a side. I mean, you don't have to, but quests, pick a side. No matter what, Knight Commander, he has a point. Face the truth, Knight Commander. You are done. That is for me to decide. No one else. Oh! My, my. Such a terrible commotion. This mage incites rebellion, Your Grace. I am dealing with the matter. Ah, Orsino. So frustrated. Do you think this is truly wise? I... No, Your Grace. Of course not. Young men, would you show the first enchanter back to the circle? Gently, if you please. Your grace! He should be clapped in irons! Made an example of! That's enough, Meredith. This demeans us all. Surely you can see that. Go back to the gallows and calm down, like a good girl. Clearly, she has the power to cool things down. You have my thanks for stepping in, champion. If you had not... Can't you do something? You're the Grand Cleric. Aren't you in charge of the Templars and Circle? Oh my. You have quite the estimation of my abilities. You seem to do just fine just Gentle now. Gentle people of Kirkwall. Return to your homes, I implore you. This will not be solved today. And now I must attend to the gallows. They will see reason if the Maker wills it. Thank you again, Champion. I mean, like, I partly agree with what she says. Like, they're going to All fight. Quiet around here, Captain. There are gonna be high high tensions between Meredith and Orsino and the Templars and the Mages, and she can't control that. But clearly they respect and revere her. And like I think they would listen if she sat down with them and it was like, hey, let's work this out. But I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's wishful thinking. It I just eh, I don't know. I f part of me feels like she could do more than what she's doing. But in the end, I don't know if it would have made a difference anyway. Hi. I had hoped to find you. Unlike the rest of the Ba's filth in this city, the Ereshach considered you Bazalit An. Many Kanari fell in Kirkwall when we departed. I am sent to gather their swords. 
If you find a Canari sword, return it to me. Just their weapons? Don't you want their bodies too? Their husks serve no purpose. The weapons shall satisfy a demand of the Kuhn. Now you can ask for a reward. Or you cannot, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'll keep an eye out. You will find me here. Interesting that he's allowed to hang out. Maybe they don't see him as a threat anymore. I don't know. I know everybody's got a level. I never said welcome back. <laughs> um, welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age 2. Um, we handled the Canari threat, but obviously there are still dangers in the area. And I know everybody has the level. I want to get these exclamation points that are around here. Delilah. Mistress Hawk, I must speak with you. You're the only one that can help. The Wardens mounted an expedition to retrace your route through the deep roads to discover whatever it is you found years ago. Oh, great. It's a fool's errand, and my poor brother is with them. Nathaniel Howe. Nathaniel is a good man worth saving. Um, I've heard of the Howes. Are you related to Al Rendon Howe? The Butcher of Denerim. Oh. Much to my shame, I am. But do not blame the children for the sins of the father. Fair enough. Why follow my trail? Why were wardens interested in our expedition? Maker, help me. I have no idea. My brother never tells me these things. Well, yeah. Warden secrecy and all that. Why me? Wardens range into the deep roads all the time. But he's been gone far too long. Something terrible's happened. I'd tell the Wardens, but by the time I reach Vigil's Keep, my poor brother... Well, tell me more. Do you know any other details? I know almost nothing. Nathaniel never speaks about the Wardens. It was only happenstance that I heard your name mentioned. Please, go back to the Deep Roads. Find my brother. You must. All right. Well, we will look for Nathaniel, for sure. Um, Chanter's bored. Good. Carry on. Why are you still here, Varric? Starkhaven's too pretentious for me, and Cumberland's too boring. You always say you hate commitment, but here you are, six years later, still at Hawk's side. Dabbling. I thought you'd have noticed by now. I lie a lot. <laughs> There's nothing on it. There might have might be under I don't know if you made different choices, maybe. Um there was another exclamation point this way, and I know we have to go into our house. Actually, I should just I should double okay, there's one up. Hubert! Great! And there's one down this way. What do people have to say here? I've got a daughter in the circle. There's a lot of mages in the city who aren't blood mages. That is true. The Knight Commander's mad. I wish you really were the Viscount. Oh, goodness. I don't know if I want that job. Not you. The Knight Commander's mad. The person. Viscount had no heir. I wish you really were the Viscount. Will you take his place, champion? Great. The Knight Commander's getting out of control. I wonder if they say something different if you support the Templars. I don't know. Yep, Captain. new shops. Hubert, what's this up with you? This is the heart of Kirkwall, if you ask me. This part? Seems like there's more guards stationed in places, which I guess makes sense. Catastrophe has struck, partner. We are ruined. Ruined. What are you talking about? Don't panic. Tell me what happened. A guard came back from the boon pit, half-wrecked, with a dozen mangled bodies. The horse pulling the cart was the only survivor, and it does not speak. Town full of rotten mages, and not one can get answers from a horse. <laughs> well, I'll do it. I'll, I'll go check it out. I'll see what's going on. Until then, try to stay calm. I knew I could depend on you. Just like old times, partner. 
Okay, this is not looking good at all. Oh, should probably go all the way up. No chest in the corner. Okay. Um, I'm gonna check some shops real quick. You out? Backpack. Take that. Take the backpack for sure. You want bows? I got bows. I don't want bows. Sebastian has a very good bow. Ooh, canary sword. Yes. Tome gives the reader one or more points to spend on tributes rendered useless afterwards. I haven't been buying these. I got bows. I maybe should, but they are expensive as heck. You have an invisible chest, dude. Okay, let's go check out this other area. Oh, I have a sword, so I can just give it to him. Here you go. Have you located any Canari blades? One. This is what I found. Do you require gold for this task? No. I'm not doing this for the money. Very well. That is a very interesting suit of armor. Um... Let's go this way and figure out. Oh, I remember you. Flowers. I should get flowers for my hair. Hi. Ah, the champion of Kirkwall. Your reputation precedes you. Forgive me. I should introduce myself properly. My name is Nancio Caldera Lanos. I am a noble from the beautiful country of Antiva. Okay. Do you need something? Is there something I can help you with? I've come to you in search of aid. An elven assassin I have been chasing is loose in the area. Unfortunately, he's hidden himself among the local Dalish, no doubt playing on their shared heritage. He's a master manipulator who will endanger even his own kind to ensure his survival. Why are you hunting him? You don't seem the type to hunt assassins. Why are you after him? At first, it was merely a duty to Antiva. But after losing so many good men to him, it became personal. He's nothing but a murderer, a thief, and a liar. It's actually really smart of him hiding among the Dalish. Your assassin is no fool. I doubt the Dalish would hand a fellow elf over to you, murderer or no. Ah, so you see my problem. Where that elf goes, death follows. He must be captured quickly. I've heard of your dealings with the Dalish. I was hoping you could go where my men could not. Find out where the assassin is hiding, and apprehend him. Well, I can ask. We're on good terms. I'll see what I can do. One of the Dalish, a woman named Variel, is a friend of his. I suggest speaking with her first. We won't be here when you get back. We got a campsite outside the city. Look for us there. Okay, and they're gone. Interesting. Okay. Um, looks like we can go into our house now. I'm gonna say uh, Okay. Did I talk to you? I don't think I did. Would you be our Viscount champion? I know I feel safe with you in the keep. Yeah, that's not a job I want. I'm gonna save. That ruckus has been going on for some time. Can you calm him down? Ruckus? Okay. I don't hear anything. What? Hmm. Nice for you. I see the Arenbergs have made up. <laughs> Theron, what are you doing? What's wrong? Easy, boy. What is it? Something in the wardrobe? All right, let's see. Please don't open the door. <laughs> You've caught a burglar. Good boy. <laughs> My legs are cramping. Please, just let me go. Why should I? You expect me to just let you walk out of here? 
Please, sir. I was seduced by a crime at a very young age, but your guard monster has scared me towards a path of honest work. <laughs> okay. Fine. I'll give you to the count of five before I sick my Mabari on you. What? Surely you wouldn't. One. <laughs> but, but. Two. <laughs> Three, four, five. Make sure our guest leaves quickly. <laughs> <laughs> that was a quest. I love it. <laughs> One of the few things Oran owns. I think I've clicked on that, maybe. Oh, hey, you're up here now. I'm sorry about your mama. I will miss her. Mm. I hope all is well, mistress. Aww. That's... I clicked on that. Anything new in here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Mm, we should have mail, right? You would think. Yes, we do. Champion, I require your assistance in a matter of great urgency. Please report to the Templar Hall and the gallows at your earliest convenience. Sincerely, Knight Commander Meredith. Okay. Who needs rescuing? Champion, you simply must help me. My daughter, Orlana, was abducted by foul bandits. One of my servants has discovered she was taken somewhere in the wounded coast. I bid you make haste, for I fear these low-born scum will take her maidenhood. That would make the arrangement of a suitable marriage for her very difficult. Please return Orlana to me intact. Reginald Thaddeus Spinkter from Ella. Monsieur Hawk, maybe you don't remember me. We met briefly, and though it was the most important moment of my life, you've changed so many lives, you probably can't keep them all straight. You rescued me from Sir Ulrich, and you told me to leave Kirkwall. I wanted to tell you that I have. I won't say where I am now, but I'm free, and I'm not looking back. I've heard the rumors. Terrible days are coming. I pray for the safety of my family and all the souls in Kirkwall, especially for you. May Andraste keep you from harm. Sincerely, Ella. A package from Gascard Dupuy. Hawk, I'm probably the last person you wish to hear from. I played a regrettable part in your mother's death, and I will live with that the rest of my life. You could have killed me, but showed me mercy. I have decided to use this second chance to change my ways. I'm giving up magic. I found this magical artifact in my stash. Perhaps you will find some use for it. Letter from Deventer. Dear Hawk, or is it now Champion Hawk? The story of how you handled the era shock is very popular here. There are a few things the Deventers love more than a tale of Canari defeat. To say the Imperium is a strange place would be a vast understatement. Men and women work magic in the streets while their slaves look on. I watched my own master kill a rival magister in a duel just days ago. Sometimes I look around and think I understand the Templars back in Kirkwall. My studies are going well. My dreams don't trouble me as much these days. I'm hopeful that in time I will master myself. I just wanted to thank you. I owe you more than my life. I owe you my mind and my future. Fainreal. Letter in a fancy envelope. Interest rates. This looks like... Yeah, this looks like spam. A letter from Marcino. Champion, you deserve your new title, despite what Knight Commander Meredith might prefer. You and I both know what would have happened had you not been there to face the Canari. I'm sure you've received no shortage of accolades from the powers that be in this city, but for what it is worth, I'm sending a gift from the Circle of Magi to use it well. Regards, First Enchanto Orsino. A letter from Sister Ariel. So champion of Kirkwall, you've done so much for so many people, so you probably don't remember me, but you saved my life. I spent three years thinking about what that awful Lord Haraman might have done to me. Surely the Maker sent you to shine his light on that madhouse. When I left and walked into the sun, it was like waking from a nightmare. I don't know how we endured it. That place was a spider's web, and we were the flies. I didn't know where to go at first, but I ended up seeking a shelter in the Chantry in Starkhaven. I'm a sister now, and I take my vows next month. They've given me a chance to pay back the good fortune you gave me, and they've even taught me to read and write. Me, the daughter of a washerwoman. With eternal gratitude, Sister Ariel. Okay. So we got robes and a new quest. I 
Hi, you're back in front of the fireplace. What? <laughs> Things have been very troubling these last few years, haven't they? I, uh, I was thinking that it might soon be time for my boy and I to move on. Oh, where would you go? Back to the merchant's life, I suppose. It's an honor to serve the champion of Kirkwall. Make no mistake, but I'm getting older. It's time to see the Sandal's future. I'll stay on until arrangements are made. I hope that's all right. <laughs> Can I come along? <laughs> I could help Sandal. If you're worried about Sandal, I can help him out. Oh, well, that's mighty kind of you, but it's unnecessary. My boy's been offered a position in Orlay. It seems the Empress herself found one of his enchantments and is intrigued. Can you imagine? Us in the Imperial Court. Interesting. Hopefully this business with the Templars doesn't get worse before we go. I worry about you, Miss Air. Oh, Dan. Aww. Sandal? The old lady is scary. There is no old lady, Sandal. How many times do I have to tell you that? What's this about? Oh, uh, my boy sees things sometimes. Says he saw an old lady standing by his bed. She has a scary laugh. Oh. Yes, well, there you go. Hmm. Could he be talking about Flemeth? That would be interesting. And something to be worried about. I want to go home. Aww. We can go back to Ferelden one day, my boy. I promise. You'd almost never know you thought Arana was even here. So quiet. <laughs> She smells like cinnamon buns. Aww. Even after all these years, she still refuses to go outside. Such a shame. I should take her shopping with me. I'll miss this city when we go somehow. Even the rats. Rats go squeak. <laughs> Don't worry, my boy. There's plenty of rats in Orlay. They just squeak with a funny accent. <laughs> I'm certain you'll find everything's in order, Miss Air. Of course. Always at your service, Miss Air. Let's see if we can get Sandal to say anything specific. I make enchantments. Could I have some salamanders, please? Don't do it. That's where the boom comes from, I think. That big tower in the lake is scary. He means the gallows, and I quite agree. Your house is pretty. One day the <gasps> magic will come back. All of it. Everyone will be just like they were. The shadows will part. And the skies will open wide. Huh? What's this? When he rises, everyone will see. By the ancestors, what's gotten into you, my boy? Enchantment? <laughs> That's more like it. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> I've never gotten it before. Um, so that is that is known. I want to go yeah, home. and he just goes back. We can go back to Ferelden one day, my boy. I promise. That is known as Sandal's Prophecy, which um, makes sense after playing Dragon Age Inquisition. Does not make sense right now. Um, but there you go. I'm super excited that I got that to work. <laughs> I've never gotten it before. I make you oh, I know you do. Um, so one of the interesting things is um, you in Dragon Age Inquisition, you go to Orlais. 
you actually um, meet Celine, and Bowden and Sandal are nowhere to be found. And I mean, there's theories as to what happened. Yeah, I don't know if they like never made it and something happened to them or they were there for a little bit and then left. Um, it's not, I mean, there's some hints in Dragon Age Inquisition um, that you get. That's not really uh, the right place to discuss it here. But anyway, um, something is up. Something is clearly, clearly up here with these two and we just don't know what yet anyway um i think that's a good place to end the episode here and then what i'm gonna do uh next time is we'll we'll pick up some quests uh, if you like the video give it a thumbs up subscribe social media links in the description and thanks for watching